one potato? And two potatoes. <laughs> Good morning, you guys. It's Monday. Today, I thought I would kind of go back to the beginning and just welcome all of you to the channel. I take it for granted you haven't been with me the whole time. A lot of you have come on board maybe in December, maybe in April, uh, or maybe maybe today or yesterday, and I just want to welcome you here. I am a sheep farmer. My name is Sandy Brock. I, I love working. I love what I do, and I love sharing it. I also love storytelling, and I guess uh, YouTube has just been a really good way for me to really marry the two things I love, which is telling stories and and working at the same time. Uh, is it challenging? Yes, it's challenging. Uh, should I be spending my time on other things? Likely, but this part of my work really gives me joy and I'm just so, so honored and grateful that you guys are here. Anyways, it is a Monday morning. It is the first day I have truly done chores here for weeks because I've been lambing and I've had Carissa and I've been trying to give her a lot more hours. Let's just go in and do some sheep chores today, shall we? So this one was born yesterday. So Carissa put in the pen for me. So I'll tag this yet today. And I believe we only have... Maybe they're all done. We might be done landing. We need to see what this one's doing. Can you turn around? Thank you. Yep, we are done, guys. That's awesome. So lambing is done. That means... Uh, Tomorrow, you know what I'm gonna do tomorrow? I will do a whole last day of lambing video and I will have all my final results. Or I'll do that sometime this week. So I will let you know how this group did. Two were never pregnant or absorbed their pregnancies. The rest uh, had lambing issues. So, and it, you can go back and check out all my lambing, my summer lambing playlist. It's got all that in it, all the, all the lambing details. The lambs look all good. Stuff's just a little, it looks like it's just, the bedding's a little bit moist, so I'm probably gonna, before I start feeding, I might just bed up and get that all done. Because when I'm feeding, what happens is the lambs and the ewes will kind of run around and spread out the straw, and then I don't have to shake up the straw. Bedding is almost done, not quite. We keep all our straw in the barn across the road and in our lean-to storage. So I have to run and grab another bale, but before I do that, I thought I would just take a second and fill the creep area. So creep, for the little lambs that are still lactating on mum, I give them their own little spot where they can go and eat their own grain, their own custom-made ration. It's just a little pellet, 18% uh, protein and they can just nibble away at that and get on to drinking water on their own so they're not just 100% uh, reliable relying on mum.
guys, I know my windshields are disgusting. gonna take a couple seconds to scrape up the floor uh, enough of that straw falls off the wagon when I bed and uh, trying to follow my employees example and keep my floors a little bit cleaner because it looks really nice when the floors are clean Time to feed these hungry little critters. Okay, if this is your first time kind of looking at how I do chores and what I do, uh, when I go to feed, uh, depending on what stage my ewes are at, I've got, right now there's probably, uh, well what do I have? I have some that are preparing to breed, so they're on a flush ration, which just means like increased energy. I've got some that are lactating, so they're on a lactating ration, which is high, like, like all you can eat buffet. And then I have some on a dry ration, which just means like maintenance, so I just want to keep them in good condition. I have a, a ration all made up. My feed company does this for me depending on how my feed tests. So uh, right now I'm feeding my first cut hay, which I got tested, oh, here about a month, a month ago probably, because we just did second cut a couple, uh, week and a half ago. So uh, they're all in here. All my rations are up to date. I've got haylage, corn silage, uh, soybean meal for some added protein for my lactating use and my flush ration. Um, and, and dry corn and then just mineral that I get from the companies. And then I have a map kind of drawn up, how my pens look and what needs to get fed in each pen. And then anybody who has to do my work can just look at this and take over. gonna get my feed cart ready here. I have no idea where my ear protectors are so I'm gonna have to look for those. Here's my chariot. Starts so good in the summer. Here's the inside. So apron chain in there that comes up here and then an auger here that kicks out the feet here and it's a high discharge to get in my feet bump which you'll see
going over to the, the barn across the road where I have my market lambs. And uh, I know I have to bring the telehandler over just because I know I'm out of straw and hay. I get to use my new hay today. That's exciting. Hopefully I can get this off. I'm gonna have to get creative. Just a little recap. After I wean my lambs, they come over to this barn. This is my finishing barn. And it used to be a pig barn in the 90s. Well, actually the 70s to the 90s early 2000s and then we renovated it. I've got videos on that so I won't bore you with it but uh, it is making good use of a building that otherwise would have got just kind of run down by rodents. So uh, yeah I'll just run and give you a quick recap of how I do chores over here but for the most part we've tried to really focus in on this barn as being kind of low 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 maintenance like you get the feeding done as quick as possible so we've got some automated an automatic feeder system and the hay and straw we just use the big square bales throw them in the center alley and then just kind of spread it out as needed so uh, typically I can start the feeders and get all the the bedding or the hay done while those feeders are filling and it just gives me a good chance to see who comes up to eat uh, if any any lambs just look off so uh, that's kind of the synopsis in this barn. Uh, this summer we are going to put in some new ventilation. It's actually getting uh, custom built right now. So that's exciting. The, the, uh, the barn across the road I want to do. Uh, we just don't have it in the budget this year to be able to do that. So uh, we're gonna see how it works in this barn and maybe replicate it over there. Uh, still haven't fixed anything that's on my wish list. I have to get some new gates. I should fix this door because it's been broken for mm, since I started using this barn. So I usually put my hand straw just straight down here, but it looks like we're all out. I'm just going to start my feeders. And my feeders are, I have four just big feeders here that are self-feeders. I can fill the hopper in all of them automatically with the, those are drop spouts and there's an auger up here. And it goes to the corner where this is a proportioner. So corn on that side, pellets on that side. Uh, it's about in and around about 78, 22% split and then the auger mixes the grain together, so we'll just start that now. So my lambs love the new hay, love it, love it. It's really close to lunchtime right now. Uh, so feeding is done, pretty much the daily chores that are that have to be done every single day are done. So what I'll do right before lunch, I'll just go and check my garden because it is summer chores and summer chores also include a garden that we were crazy enough to attempt to do this year. Let's see what we're in for here. So my beans are doing all right, I think. Potatoes, beans, the lettuce is done. Oh, these are my peas and I already picked them, so I think they're probably done now. Our sweet corn, and here's the potatoes. They actually look, they look nipped by something. Yikes. And then our onions, ooh, look how big they're getting. That looks good. They're all kind of starting to come out of the ground though. Is that normal? I don't know. So that's it. Oh, what do we got? An onion. We got your, an onion. your onion? <laughs> one onion. And potato? And two potatoes. Nice, and I got one in my hand. Three potatoes. Three potatoes. Time for lunch. Somebody come get her. Okay, lunch is done, and I thought I would take a couple seconds and tag that last lamb and get all her information in here. When it comes to sheep chores, morning is always just the chores, feeding, bedding, and afternoon are all those 
things that uh, management wise I need to get done. So I'm gonna let her out here because she's panting. Okay, let's start this Gallagher up. Our last lamb of the group. Big boy. Okay, I'm just tagging it, taking a weight, putting in its information and giving it a shot of selenium, which you guys have seen me do a million trillion times. But this is the last one. You're fine. going to let these guys out and then my pen will be complete and I'll get that set up and then I'm going to move these guys in with the next group to get cedared the one with the utter issues and stuff she'll get a she'll get an X she won't get she already has an X I think she won't get rebred uh, the other ones I usually try to give a you two chances uh, right or wrong One of my favorite things is letting all the lambs out and giving them this wide open space. Uh, I'm not sure on spacing yet. I'm not sure if I have to make this pen a bit smaller to fit. I want to put the bread use over here in these two back pens. But I'm not sure if I can fit 50 and 50 because there's like 100, actually there's more than that. There's like, a, there's like 109 in that group over there. So I'm not entirely sure I don't think those pens are big enough, so, and I don't want to short these guys' room, so I might have to get creative into moving all these animals around. It's going to change a lot once the breeding groups are all set up, but, um, yeah, I'm just trying to get stuff moved so it's just a little more efficient and a little easier for everything. that are pregnant. I'm gonna move them into the center alley for now and just get them out of the way because I wanna move some ewes that are over here into their pen. I'm gonna move these little U's, I think to the front pen, the far front pen. Uh, 
everything takes a bit longer when you're doing stuff by yourself because sheep know how to get around you but my barn is getting quite empty it's good that I've got quite a few replacement ewes to look at across the road because come next year I'm gonna be really short ewes but I've got everybody moved and uh, I think it should make feeding quite good I did have to separate the pregnant ewes into three pens so these three back pens here but that's okay um, and then the rest are pretty organized I think that is the afternoon it's nice not to rush though it's been just a nice day of of uh, getting my feet under me again and not run around with my head cut off. So yeah, chores in the morning and just rearranging my barn and then the management jobs after this uh, is gonna be kind of nice and smooth now that they're, that the animals are all organized. So there they all are. So pregnant, 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 and then the ones that get seedered next are all on deck in the pen closest to the handling system. The ones that I have to pull seeders in another week and a half are right there. And then the rams are all kind of all together, uh, kind of on the end there. So everything kind of has its own place. Just makes my job a lot easier. Uh, I feel better. It's kind of the day of chores. And uh, unless anything else pops up today, that's probably it. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a good day.